on the CD you have the image pack artwork modifying program and that's what we're going to show you now you can of course use any artwork modifying program Photoshop uh, Corel Draw Illustrator our web-based uh, software program but this is a really simple program for PCs also so I scanned my image into my computer and saved it as a JPEG now I'm going to open it and we're going to take a picture of a cat now my photo is, is large so I have to auto fit it to, uh, to the screen and I have the option of line drawing or photograph this is clearly a photo so I'm going to click photo and you can see that the computer has put uh, a filter on the image and made it into a negative and the cat looks a little bit scary but um, it, the stamp will be uh, will be good um, so I now have to choose the size of stamp that I want to make the A8 is the small size and the A7 is the larger size the A6 isn't available for stamp maker at the moment Okay, so we'll click A7 and there's our negative now I have the option here to print, and we are going to print. We're going to print on the Epson PX710, which is a photo printer. Now, before we print, we're going to go into our preferences, and we're going to go to the shortcut menu, and choose the 10 by 15 centimeter, which is four by six inch uh, photo portrait option and you can see that's printing on the uh, premium glossy Epson um, according to, to this um, we're going to print on paperback image black inkjet film um, ok so we'll print on that and we'll click OK and I just need to put some paper in the printer and we'll be ready to go now as I said this is a photo printer that doesn't pick up Film. So we're using the paper batter. This is just inkjet film um, with uh, paper spray mounted and we've cut it into uh, 4 by 6 um, Now that's going to go into the photo tray here with the film side down and this is the side we're going to print on. And remember we can just check that by licking our finger and it will stick to the side that we want the ink to go on to. So this printer uh, picks up and will print on the, the film at the bottom. Okay, so that's in my tray. I'll close that up. Open this and press print. So there we have our negative, and I'll just peel the paper off the back, and we're ready to make a stamp. So let's cut my negative out. Now we're making a photo stamp. For photo stamps, when we have our dots uh, dot filter, we're going to change the times a little. Okay. We're going to use 10 seconds for our first time and 30 seconds for our second time. And we would also recommend these times if you are, for example, making a fingerprint stamp. So if you've uh, taken a fingerprint and scanned it into your computer and you want to make a stamp of it, for example, to use with uh, clay, um, we would recommend using these times because your lines are very, very close together. Um, and you will get a better result. Okay, so I'm going to put my negative in the clamp, take my gel pack, which is uh, in my box because we need to keep them out of the light, put my gel pack on top of my negative, and we want the word image pack so we can read it. And press that down. Now, put my light on. Let's 
going to go under the lights for 10 seconds. Now, because this one's so fast, we'll see if we want to stay close by, and I'm just going to keep an eye on that time. Take it out, flip it over for 30 seconds. Okay. I'm using two timers because I find it easier than uh, changing the time on, on one of them. This timer doesn't sound as well. Okay. So remember we did 10 seconds with the negative underneath and then 30 seconds with the negative on top. So we just open up. And we'll just see our kitty in the middle. So we'll cut around the edge. Now, with these photo stamps, you'll notice that the stamps seem solid. Okay, it's totally normal, and it doesn't mean they haven't worked. Okay, they have worked, they're just different. Okay, I have some washing up liquid, dish soap and my brush and I'm just gonna wash away that gel. So just put a little bit more on. The more Detergent you use, more washing up liquid, dish soap uh, with warm running water, you know, the better result you'll, you'll get, the easier it will be to, to wash. If you use cold water and not enough um, detergent, it will be harder to wash. Okay, there's our little kitty stuff. Now we have to, you can see more from the other side actually. And we're going to post expose as normal for two minutes. Under the lights for two minutes. We'll turn off our light and take out our stamp. Oh. Dry our stamp, and I'm just going to trim around the edge. Now, this uh, photo stamp um, is a good one to do because the cat is a uh, stripy cat, so it'll come out well. Obviously, if your um, animal is all one colour, then uh, you, know, you won't get such a good result with photo stamps. If you can get a good contrast, and you're always going to get better results. Okay. Let's ink him up. So we've got our cling on the block already. But if I wanted to, I could cut all around the cat here and um, not have any background at all. So you can see as we ink up, as we ink him up, we can see the outline a lot more. It's like magic. Press in the middle, and there's our kitty stamp. Okay. I've decided I prefer this one without the background, so I'm just cutting, cutting the background away to leave just my cat. Up again. And there he is. Our 
beautiful kitty.